Hello everybody and welcome to another AFK Journey video. Today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be reacting to the AFK Journey Song of Stripe official trailer. This is two and a half minutes of just basically us seeing everything that's coming with the new update. And the new update is will be shipping uh, to servers starting on May 10th. And then we'll be hitting your server based off of when it was created. So. Without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm really excited for this video um, because I don't think we've seen everything. And uh, yeah, I've been really excited all day to watch this. This came out while I was at work and I was like, well, I can't record a reaction until I get home. So uh, yeah, can't wait for that. Let's do it. There have been stories of Magister Merlin being at the Sunsic Arena. What's that fake Merlin up to? I'm getting old. It's Those are the new characters. I think it's crazy that the two new characters are Maulers, by the way. The new zone looks really cool. Oh, some real fights going on here. All right, let's see what this what it has. Crimson Highlands. Crimson Highlands is probably just a part of the Ashen Heights, I'd assume. Um, right, it's Ashen Wastes and the Crimson Highlands. Okay. New character. She looks really cool. To meet like this in the desert must be the Also, okay, also has the S tier character or S rank character uh symbol by her name. She's obviously a mauler. We knew that they were both maulers. And she is a mage. That's really cool. Will of the Dusk Lord. I was hoping maybe we'd get uh some new good mages, because I feel like the, the amount of good mages is very, very low. Like I would say Caroline, everyone says Caroline is really good. And then there's like, I think Parisa is really good. And then in my opinion, that is all the ones that have made a real mark. Uh, maybe I'm completely missing one, but I think those are probably the two best mages in the game. And then there's a massive gap between them and every other mage, uh, unless I'm forgetting one. So hopefully also will be strong. Oh my God. Wow. She creates terrain and she jumps around the field like crazy. That's insane. The hell? Stunned? I'm assuming she stunned them too, or she's CCing them for a second. And then she like curls up into a ball and, and repositions herself. Comes out. And then executes everybody who's been hit by her rock. That's interesting. I thought this guy would be an S tier character. Maybe they're both S tier. Let's see. Although I would say he looks a little less cool. Soren. Ah, oh, okay. Unfortunate for the for the people who like warrior. I feel like the amount of warriors in this game are so not great. Uh he clearly has the A tier symbol. He is an A rank character. Uh obviously a mauler. Um yeah, but a warrior. Uh I hope he's a decent warrior. There obviously are some A tier characters that are just straight up in a lot of situations better than S tier characters. Take Merrily and Odie being probably the two best marksmen in the game, if we're being honest. Um, at least for like, you know, Odie, especially for single target content, but also for multiples with the fact that his, uh, his, you know, his poison is an execute that can reset on kills and jump to other people. Um, yeah, I mean, CC is great, but yeah, I would say Odie and Merrily are also insane and they're A rank characters. So just because he's an A rank character doesn't mean that, um, he's not going to be as good as an S rank character. He could still be way up there. From now on. So let's see what he does. Those who lack the courage to save their companions are the true. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's that's a lot of AOE. 
How much damage is that? I mean, we can't really get a good estimation of this because we don't know what level, what gear, you know. But 236k? I mean, those are okay numbers. You know, I, who knows what rank this character is, how what you know what gear the character is, what resonance level, and things like that. But that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, hopefully he's really good. God, this character is so fucking hot. Or her name is starts with an S. Entendre, insane. I think the Mauler faction is just so ridiculously stacked. Like these two characters being added, I would assume that she is going to be really good at least. And then his amount of AOE damage is something I actually really like. Um, and then Entendre's an insane tank. Odie is in this faction. You have Smokey and Mirky in this faction. Um, you have like the Rhino, who's probably like one of the worst characters in the game. Picked up you, but if you're Magister Merlin, then I'm Brutus. Brutus ravaging Cleave. Okay, this is his skin. Yeah, this is his skin. So it's a free skin through through the story. Um, I don't know if anybody has Iron. He he has a free skin through the story. It is really, really, really good. Really good. And also, if you didn't do the event by just simply playing um, whatever that one mode is in order to get a uh, Parisa skin, that is so OP. Like, that skin is insane. Like, what is wrong with you? More rewards await. Okay, some epic pulls, gems, uh, A tier uh, summons some main character gear and i'm not sure what this chest is i assume that's seasonal chest um that's song and strife that's probably what the look of that is um so it'd be like seasonal items and then more pulls of every type gold which is like you, you get a million gold in this game and then you never run out of it um and then more gear for main characters more cosmetics Season artifact. We went all over, all over all of the season stuff in the game. Like there's seasonal gear, uh, seasonal resonance level. All of that is is pretty sus to me in terms of like what's gonna stay and what is going to leave after the season is over. And we move on to the next thing. Um, because I'm a big fan of permanent content. So if there is like seasonal limited time content mixed in with permanent content, and then some of it stays, uh, I would really like that. But other than that, you know. There is trial, new mode. Um, I don't know. So, is this the boss we fight? Is this the Dream Realm boss? Or is this like actually a new mode, new mode? Or maybe here in the beginning, you know, whenever we were fighting, it seemed like the corrupted lion boss. Um, if that's gonna be. Hold on. Yeah, this character right here. I don't. Who is this character? Is this a? Uh, is this the the actual line? Is this that dude? Is this Brutus? I can't tell. It kind of does look like Brutus in his skin, but also the fur is white and his eyes are red, so maybe not. He also looks like he has like spears on his back. This is Kruger. Yeah, I don't know. This boss? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Because this is Brutus in the air. Maybe this this big lion boss will actually be the boss, the new, uh, the new Primal Lord boss. That would be awesome. I'm excited to see what the new Primal Lord looks like because that ro the rotating boss mode is definitely my favorite game mode in the game, I think. I just really like testing, you know, like my, my strength on the bosses. At least it was for a little bit whenever I was making more progress. Now my progress has kind of slowed down. Now that I'm at like hell difficulty on the bosses, I don't get as much of a, a buff. Maybe I get like 20 or 30% more damage on it than I did the last time it was around. But earlier in whenever, you know, whenever I was earlier in the game, it was going by a decent amount faster. I don't know what Dura's trial is going to be. Hopefully this is uh hopefully this is fun. Hopefully it's like a mode that stays around permanently or if it's not, it's just where you go to get a lot of your seasonal uh, rewards and then you use them to activate your seasonal stuff. Like a one-stop shop for seasonal things. 
New mode Supreme Arena. I don't know if this is going to be permanent as well, but it seems like it should be. Uh, this is like Tag Team Arena from Raid Shadow Legends, if you've ever played that. I didn't play AFK Journey, so I don't have that to reference it to. Um, I, don't play, I didn't play AFK Arena. Did I say that or Journey? I didn't play AFK Arena, so I don't have that to reference it to. But I do reference it to uh, Raid Shadow Legends, which has uh, Tag Team Arena, which is, you know, three full teams versus three full teams of uh, another player. But yeah, this is kind of what that is. I don't know if it's going to be permanent or a seasonal thing specifically, but it seems like the kind of thing that literally has nothing to do with the season. It's just a whole new mode that's a PvP mode, so it should stay afterwards. Bestial Brawl. Interesting. Honestly, those mobs are kind of cool. This is just when you're rocking around in the open world, they'll just charge at you and slam you. Based. Okay, cool. I'm really excited for Song of Strife. Um, I really hope you all are too. This trailer actually gave us a lot in terms of like revealing some of the characters' kits, revealing, you know, what rank and what uh what rank and what class the new characters are. Um gave us a nice look into you know some of maybe the next boss, the new zone for sure. Uh I'm very excited for this, so uh yeah. I will see you guys when that update drops, and we will play some probably on stream. Um, I will probably stream playing AFK Journey on the day that that, that releases, because I'll be very, very excited to play it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But otherwise, have a wonderful day, and subscribe. Peace.